the Joe Rogan experience. All right. Yeah. So yeah. So, so you go to Utah, and you um, just you just you just wait. Well, it's a lot of hiking. You know, you go and you essentially you go where you know that the elk are going to be in the area, and mm-hmm. when they're in the rut, which is the when you hunt, that's right. when it's legal. Which means they're they're mating and breeding and smashing heads together and right. shit. Then you hear them. You hear them scream at each other, and you're ready to be killed. Well, <laughs> they are definitely ready to be, be killed, killed then. Right. A little do they know. And yeah. Then you, then you got to figure out <laughs> how to sneak in on them. Right. But they can't help themselves. They just they're competing with all these other males. So right. they're always like Bleh! screaming at each other and smashing heads. And occasionally you find one that's dead that was killed by another bull. But you don't eat that. No, 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 no. You could. I mean, you certainly could if it was like a recent kill. Right. If you knew, if you got to it like right when it was dying. Temp- and it was temperature, the, yeah. Yeah, the blood was still coming out of its body. But right. you will find them. They they get stabbed and they, they kill each other. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole reason why those antlers exist. Oh, it's for war. Yeah, for stabbing. They yeah. just fuck each other up. They don't even use it to defend against other animals like wolves and shit. Right. They kick the wolves most of the time. So where do you, how do you get the thing back? Those things don't, aren't light. Yeah, you have to uh, you have to do what's called quartering it, mm-hmm. which is you take the legs off and you take the the front legs off and, and then you take the meat off the carcass and then you take the heart and the liver and uh, the the edible organs and you have to pack it out. So you have a do you have, you have a crew that goes with you or is it just you with a big ass knife? Yeah, and I, a bow? Look, I'm not very good at hunting. I'm like if if hunting was uh, a martial art, I'd be a blue belt. Okay. A blue belt is like your white belt, blue belt, purple belt. Brown belt, black belt. Right. Oh, I'm so not a black belt. Okay. I'm like a blue belt. Maybe I could get my purple belt if I like work real hard this year. Right. But I go with a guide who's gonna take me to the places that I need to go and show me, and a guy who's an experienced outdoorsman who who basically teaches you, just right. like having a trainer in martial arts. Exactly. They show like a sensei. you. Like, yeah. Hey. He's he knows the landscape. He's a hardened outdoorsman. You right. know, these guys never get fucking tired, and they'll go and take you and show you like what. It, but then it's. It's your job to execute the shot, your job to get close, your job to stalk in, your job to make sure that you don't get what's called winded, means the animal smells you, the wind's at your back, and the wind carries your scent towards the animal. So you have to move around There's a lot of thought that goes into this. There's a lot of thought that goes into this. I thought you just go there with the gun and go pew, pew. Well, I don't use a gun. I use a bow. A bow, which is even crazier. Yeah, but I have used a gun. I have. Really? Yeah. I shot a bow once and it didn't go so well. It just kind of. It's fun. Bow, just shooting targets is really fun. It's it's very cathartic. It's it's, it's like something, there's a release when that arrow finds its target. It just feels really good. Yeah. For, it's probably some primitive shit from back when we used to rely on killing things with right. bows and arrows that like accuracy but there's something about hitting something with a, a tar- like when you're shooting something at a target and it hits it it's very very satisfying it's very rewarding yeah, yeah. of course and when yeah. you do that with a bow and arrow it's very difficult Which, it's more challenging it's more rewarding yeah right. I, I've never used a traditional bow I mean I have like a couple of times but I've never really tried to shoot with like a traditional bow or a recurve oh, you have the bow. kind of gun but they also like that and they no no re- I have a it, you draw it I mean you have to pull it back but it's a compound bow it relies on these mechanical, uh, these gears that these, um, what are they called? Cams. Is it like the bow in Walking Dead? Have you watched the Walking no, Dead? No, that's a crossbow. It's a crossbow? Okay. Yeah, that's that's a bullshit bow. Okay. What that is is a shitty gun. Okay. So this guy's got a trigger. He did pretty well with Tung- it, though. I mean, he killed he a lot of zombies. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it would make me very angry. Okay. Very frustrated. Okay. <laughs> First of all, he doesn't even have a broadhead on that stupid thing. Right. He's shooting them with little pencil holes, and yep. he's killing them well, instantly. Well, well that, that's, all, that's all he had access to. Yeah. Bitch, I'll, make, I'll a you know I mean? make had, a broadhead. Make a broadhead, bro. Break into a... Break into a Bass Pro Shop. Get yourself some broadheads. <laughs> you know, yeah. come on, man. What I actually did see a few Bass Pro Shops in Walking Dead. They just walk right past them. I was like, what yeah, are you guys well, doing? Get in there, bro. There's on, guns there, and nets and yeah. camping gear. Uh, kayaks. Um, so that's a crossbow, and there's a that's a very controversial uh, weapon amongst outdoorsmen. Why is because that? they use those during uh, bow season. Okay, and there's a reason why bow season is like the. If you looked at like statistics across the board. If you have a what's called a tag, like say if you wanted to go deer hunting, you'd have to get a license and then you'd get a tag. And if the tag was available for the area you wanted, you'd pay a certain amount for that tag. Now, if you get a bow tag, they they make the bow season earlier. You have a higher, a much higher likelihood of failure okay. with a bow than you do with a gun. So, like if say like fifty percent of the people that got a, a tag, it's usually not that high. But if fifty percent of the people that got a tag for a rifle were yeah. successful, it might be ten percent with a bow. Well, it might yeah. be even, even less. It might be even less in some places, right. depending on how rugged the landscape is, how hard it is to get to where the animals are, and you have to be able to shoot far accurately. Right. So, do you so, do most of the shooting when you go up there? Or do you have? The, I do all the shooting. Do oh, yeah, you do? yeah. I, I shoot them myself. Yeah. That's impressive, to do that. man. That's a man. That's a manly ass thing to do. 
It's a well. You, you know, what's I mean, do you do a lot of manly shit. I noticed. Mm, I know. I'm probably compensating for something. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but yeah. <laughs>